What's up everybody? I'm going to show you how to change the oil in a Yamaha TTR125. Uh, they're pretty much the same all years. It's probably one of the easiest to change. Uh, let's start out by getting the old oil drained out. Okay, so left side of the bike, this bolt down here by the waffles. Show you. <clears throat> left side, left side of the bike, this bolt right here by the waffles. That's your drain bolt, your one and only drain bolt. So we're gonna pop that out, and the good thing is it's already leaning to the left with the kickstand, so it should all drain out pretty easy. Uh, also, I've already had the motor warmed up, so uh, that'll help with uh, getting all the oil out of there. Now, it also wouldn't hurt to kick the bike over a couple times and uh, turn over everything inside and get it flowing. Um, this drain bolt doesn't need to be like crazy torque, guys. Just, just snug. You'll feel it start to give. Better that this fall out than you strip it. Uh, <laughs> sad to say. That's good. I always like to thank the Japanese manufacturers that put the uh, amount right here on the case. And you can see it looks like, kind of looks like it says 10,000 M3, but it actually says 1,000 CM3. So that's the same as uh, 1,000 milliliters, which is the same as exactly one liter or more or less one quart within 50 milliliters. So basically, grab a quart, grab a liter, whatever. So basically, grab a quart, grab a liter, whatever. Grab a funnel. I'm using a Yamalube 1040. You can use any 1040 motorcy motorcycle specific oil, doesn't matter. For a motor like this, there's no reason to run synthetic. I would just run regular 1040 oil. It's going to cost you anywhere from 8 to $10 a quart, depending on the brand and where you get it. And just top it off. You, can, uh, you have a little dipstick on your filler plug, but there's really no reason to fret about stuff like that. If, this, if a motor this small is burning oil, you're going to know it. It's going to be smoking like crazy, and still, it would take forever to burn through all this oil. So... As long as you're changing it regularly when you should and you have no leaks and the motor's running, you're probably be, going to be okay. Just uh, put your thousand milliliters of oil in it and go. Make sure you uh, put your O-ring back on it. And that's it, guys. And uh, this TTR specifically, we've done a lot to over this winter. We put a new carb on it, we put a new battery, we did a uh, chain, sprockets, a new tire. So go back and check out some of our older videos on that that have already been posted. Um, basically have a whole little build series on this thing. So check them out, please hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, give us a like, give us a comment and tell us what TTR you have and uh, stick around. We appreciate it.